you got this you guys need to know the difference between healing and hoeing people love screaming oh i've been single for four years i've been single for seven years i ain't been in a relationship since 2012 but within that amount of time ask them how much of that time was spent on healing how much of that time was spent on loving yourself and building yourself up Hey you guys, it's Seiko Kaori, the Manifesting Goddess, and welcome back to another episode of Seiko's Intuition. And I know I've been gone for a little minute, but I'm back up close and personal. I want to wish everyone a belated happy Father's Day and happy Juneteenth. So on today's video, we are going to talk about healing versus hoeing. And yes, a lot of you guys have the two mixed up first things first you have to let go of that mindset of getting underneath somebody else to get over someone stop doing that because you are not truly healing all you are doing is distracting yourself distracting yourself from the pain distracting yourself from the embarrassment or the betrayal or the hurt you guys need to feel your feelings feel your feelings stop trying to suppress them stop trying to distract yourself with other people and healing also lets you know who you are Healing also lets you know what you want. You can heal and your ex is probably not even your type anymore. This is why you need to heal. A lot of you guys are dating people based off of trauma and not genuine love. So imagine if you healed yourself, the type of person you would attract. Because once I started healing, my ex is not even my type anymore. I no longer date anybody shorter than me. I am not settling. I don't date girls with locks. I don't date people who spend their entire life in the entertainment and party scene. My type has changed. But four or five years ago, oh my God, I would have kissed the ground she walked on. You have to heal. A lot of you guys are hoeing because you want love, but love makes you feel uncomfortable. So you find yourself in these uncommitted relationships with people so they can't hurt you. That is not how you solve your issues. And you dibbling and dabbling in different pots is only going to hurt you more. You straying away from commitment is not going to prevent you from getting hurt. You healing is what is going to prevent you from getting hurt. You looking back and analyzing the lesson that the universe was trying to teach you is how you don't get hurt. You have to find out who you are, especially if you are a person who loses themselves in a relationship. You stop hanging with your friends. You stop going out. You always want to be underneath them. You always want to be doing what they're doing. It's because you have not healed. You don't know who you are. And you, there's no possible way. I don't care who you are. There's no possible way that you can just leave a relationship hop right into a new relationship and you do not care about your ex i don't care who you are you are still in pain you are still trying to process something that you lost and yes a lot of people don't know how to deal with that pain to go through their emotions so again they distract themselves they lie to themselves and say they're over it they don't care 
if you're not going to be real with anybody else in this world, you need to be honest with yourself. The thing is, you think you've healed because you're dating somebody new, but they are just a distraction from your real pain, AKA a rebound. That's why some people go back to their exes because the connection was never healed. All you did was distract yourself. So there is still unresolved issues and love lingering in your heart. You have to heal so hard that your ex can't even get close to you. You have to heal so hard that your ex is not even your type anymore. Heal so hard that you look back at your past relationships and be like, what the hell was I thinking? Not look at your past relationships and feel like you're missing out on something or what if something happened differently. No. Just like you have to stop hoeing just to prove a point. A lot of you guys do that too or have had that done to you. Somebody cheats on you or you cheat on them. Then a few days or a few weeks later, they're in a new situation shift. Just to prove that they've moved on. Just to prove that they don't need you or they're not thinking about you or that they never cared. You have to stop doing that. Just the other day, I seen on Facebook, a girl was like, oh, if a nigga cheat on me, I'm going to cheat back. What? So you're telling me if someone cheats on you to get back at them, you're giving up your most precious and sacred body part for a get back? No, I'm genuinely trying to ask because if I am dating somebody and they cheat on me and I go fuck somebody else for revenge, am I doing that to hurt them? Because they clearly don't give a fuck. They was already cheating on me. So I'm only hurting myself. And the fact that you even want to take out revenge on someone should let you know that you have to heal. I don't think you guys understand how much dirt, how many secrets and information that I have on people who have done me wrong, who have cheated on me, who has thrown dirt on my name. I have so much information, but the fact that I am healing and not hoeing puts me in a place that I know I don't need to use that information. The only reason I would want to get revenge on somebody is if I'm hurt. And if I'm hurt, that is my issue. Regardless of what anybody else did to me, I need to heal that and not project that onto somebody else and try to make somebody else feel how I'm feeling. Take some accountability, okay? This person hurt me. So instead of me trying to take up all of this energy and put it into hurting them, let me take all of that energy and heal myself. Why did that hurt me? Why did that trigger me? How did this person even get so close to me to be able to hurt me and backstab me? Take back your power. Y'all, for some reason, think that by hurting somebody else and getting revenge and calling them out and embarrassing them is powerful. But it really shows how bothered you are. People who don't give a fuck genuinely don't give a fuck. But if you have to, but if you have to keep going around saying, oh, I don't give a fuck, I don't care. Who are you trying to prove that to? Just like the quietest people know the most information. And the loudest people know nothing. That's why they're loud. Because they're trying to overcompensate for their lack of knowledge. You have to really analyze people and stop taking things personally. Y'all know I love saying that. Stop taking things personally. Because half the time what somebody else does to us has nothing to do with us. And I know it can be hard. 
especially when your inner child just wants to be loved. But then your teenage self wants revenge. And in your current self, all you want is peace. So I know it can be hard, but you have to take your time and go step by step. Yes, it can sound very overwhelming to heal over 20 years of trauma, but that's the thing, you are overwhelming yourself. Do it in increments. Start with your younger self, then your teenage self, and now your adult self. Or you can heal as problems arise in your life. You got this. You guys need to know the difference between healing and hoeing. People love screaming, oh, I've been single for four years. I've been single for seven years. I ain't been in a relationship since 2012. But within that amount of time, ask them, how much of that time was spent on healing? How much of that time was spent on loving yourself and building yourself up? Or were you spending all of that time looking for a relationship, trying to keep a relationship, trying to get back into a relationship? You're not healing. You are out here hoeing. Put yourself first. But I am Sega Kaori, the manifesting goddess. And if you resonate with what I say, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on Thursday.